Hello students. In last month, some activities I have given to you. One of these, observe the sunrise and sunset in your area and note down the timing of sunrise and sunset in your notebook as well in your textbook. In your textbook, specimen table has been given and you have to fill your observation points from 19 June to 28 June. In that table, along with the sunrise and the sunset timing, uh, fill the night duration and uh, day duration also. And which source you have used that information also you have to fill in that table. Remember that in your textbook, specimen table has been given, but it is for a specific period. But you have to observe sunrise and sunset continuously daily and uh, you should note down the sunrise and sunset timing using uh, internet newspapers panchan and uh, your observation points you are going to note down in your notebook. I hope you are carrying this activity and uh, you have completed this record till the end of June month. Today we are going to discuss about your observation. Let us see. And now take out your textbooks and turn page number 1. We will discuss about your activity. How was the nature of uh, your activity? Observe the sunrise and sunset daily and note down the timing of sunrise and sunset in your area by direct observation or using calendars newspapers or the internet. A specimen table has been given in your textbook page number 1. This is a specimen table has been given on a textbook page number 1. Record the entries for the month of June. Find the answers to the following questions and discuss them. Now we will discuss according given questions. First, among the records in the table, which is the longest day? Here, I have recorded my observation points. But remember that the duration of the day and night depends on your location on the earth surface. So for explanation, I will use my record. Look at this table from 19th June to 28th June. Look at this uh, specimen table. It is for only a specific period. I have filled my observation points from 19th June to 28th June. Date Sunrise timing Sunset timing duration of day and night and which source you have used for getting this information you have to mention in this column whether a direct observation use newspapers news channels calendars or internet which source you have used here you have to note down on 19th june Sunrise timing is a 6 a.m. Sunset timing is a 19 past 10 minute p.m. Here I have used 24 hour clock. Duration of day, duration of night and source of information, direct observation. So how you will get a day duration? Sunset timing and sunrise timing. Subtract sunrise timing from sunset timing, you will get day duration. Keep in mind, here I have used 24 hours clock. So, I have got the day duration on 19th June, it is about 13 hour 10 minutes.
and how to get a night duration if we use 24 hours clock subtract day duration from 24 hours you will get night duration so here I have found that uh, night duration on 19th June is uh, about uh, 10 hour 50 minutes this way we have to fill the information about uh, your uh, observations sunrise sunset day duration night duration and among uh, the records from 19th June to 28th June Nineteenth June to twenty second June. And twenty four June to twenty six June. These days the duration of the day is uh, equal. And it is about uh, thirteen hour ten minutes. So among these records, these days day duration is more than other days day duration remember that the duration of the day and the night depends on your location next question what differences do you notice in the duration of the nights day by day we have noticed that the duration of a night day by day keeps changing here you can see the duration of night is at 10 hour 50 minute here 10 hour 51 minute so we have noticed that the duration of a night keeps on changing next question guess the reason behind it Previously, we have discussed that how do day and night occurs on the earth and the reason behind this as we know that the earth rotates around its own tilted axis and revolves around the sun on its elliptical orbit. So this is the reason that uh, duration of uh, the nights and also duration of day keeps on changing day by day. Next question. How did you find out the duration of the night? So as I told that I have used 24 hours clock for this record. So just know about 12 hours clock and 24 hours clock in short. The 12 hour clock runs from 1 am to 12 noon and 1 pm to 12 midnight. And 24 hour clock uses the numbers 00.00, 00 to 23 past 59. Midnight is a 00. So how to get a night duration? If uh, we subtract day duration from 24 hours, we will get night duration. This is a night duration. Next question, which two dates had days and nights of the same duration? So we found that during the given period from 19th June to 28th June, we have found only changes in day duration and night duration. We have not noticed same duration of day and night. Next question, with the help of the table, you saw how the duration of the day and the night changes. Do you think such as changes occur everywhere on the earth? Yes, the changes in the duration of a daytime and a nighttime occur everywhere on the earth. This is because the earth rotates around its own tilted axis and revolves around the sun on its elliptical path. And now we will revise some points. 
to complete one rotation earth takes 24 hours during 24 hours every longitude experiences sunrise at a different time and every longitude experiences sunset at a different time at a time 180 longitudes that is a half sphere of the earth experiences daytime and another half part of the earth sphere that is another 180 longitudes experiences night time sunrise and sunset times depend on a number of variables including longitudes latitudes altitude and location in a relationship to your specific time zone the duration of the day and night depends on your location students remember that this activity we have to carry till the end of december month in december month we will see further explanation about how season occurs part